Get in that bathtub right now. You smell like a wet dog. I don't smell that bad. But mom, right now, young man. Yes, mom. This is boring. Cannonball! Wow. Boring. Wow. I wonder how these little fish survive with all these flesh-eating sharks in the water. Well, a lot of fish adapt to survive. Adapt? What's that mean? Adapting means changing in order to survive. Animals with traits that help them survive will pass those traits on to the next generation. Only animals that continue to adapt survive. Those that don't adapt become extinct. I still don't get it. Wait here. I'll show you what I mean. Wow! The polar bear lives in the Arctic, where there's lots of snow. Can I get a little snow here? Hey! The polar bear is a great example of a well-adapted animal. Over the years, the polar bear's warm fur coat has changed to match the bear's environment. The white fur allows the bear to sneak up on his prey without being seen in the snow. Oh, I see how it works. Give me another example of adaptation. Hmm. Oh, I know. Hey. Wow. The pelican is a bird that uses its large beak to catch fish. Over the years, the pelicans with the biggest beaks had the best chance of surviving because they could catch the most fish. Wow, that was cool! Since the pelican with the largest beak had the best chance of surviving, they also had the best chance of passing on that genetic trait to their babies. Hey. <laughs> So that means we have to adapt to avoid these sharks. I bet our friend the flounder can help us out. <gasps> oh! Normally, it could take millions of years to adapt, but since this is a cartoon, we can give it a shot. See them anywhere. The flounder has adapted by having its eyes move to the top of his head. That way, he can sit on the bottom of the ocean. Where did they go? And watch what's moving around above hey. him. Nothing can sneak up on him from below, and he can see everything swimming above. Many kinds of flounders have also adapted to actually change colors to match their surroundings. If a flounder sits on dark rocks, the scales become dark. If they are on white sand, they turn white. Wow, that was close. You can see how these adaptations help the flounder to survive. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about it. We can just finish our bath. So long. Bye. Billy, if you're done with your bath, you can take the garbage out. You know, Molly, maybe we'll keep a few of those tricks the flounder taught us for Mom. Shh. Billy, Billy, where did you go, Billy? <laughs> <laughs>